on the Oregon coast, and I uh, put some stickers up in a uh, one town. So when it comes to large-scale uh, mural cover-ups, uh, make sure that you are always consulting a director for something like that, or you are consulting me. Um, it is something, you know, generally as the activism is, becomes higher in risk or scale, the more you need to, uh, to, to get consultation. Not even necessarily banned. Hey, Maybe what? that too. I don't know. Anyhow, um, so Jack told me that he wants to interview the guy on Friday after. In Silverdale. But, um, I don't know if the interviewee has responded, and Jack hasn't responded to me. Yeah, I reached out to him on Rocket Chat. Uh, I ended up just asking Clark. Clark said that, that was their plan was to meet up with him Friday. Uh, uh, why do we always interviewees when I'm, like, not available? It's, I hope this does not continue to be a pattern. When are you taking off? Um, I don't know. I could take off first thing tomorrow, or I could just sit around all day tomorrow and enjoy being having the day off, and then leave Thursday morning with my dad. So, I don't know yet. Cause I'll probably get off early tomorrow, dude. We could have just shot out over there like tomorrow in the afternoon and done it, but. And I was thinking about it. Uh, why do you got Thursday, Friday, and paid holiday too? Not paid, but I'm off. Nice. And what do you or do? You have work tomorrow, or is it just a half day? Uh, usually before um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's like. Uh, I don't know, you should get out of there, like, about lunchtime. I am in the wrong industry. And obviously paid for the whole day. That's some shit. Um, Tyler, to answer your question, I think an Airbnb of similar size uh, that we use would be a good idea. Um... We probably don't need, like, some huge yard or anything, but um, definitely a living room, hangout, open gifts and stuff, and uh, a couple bedrooms, nice dining room. It's basically about the same size house as the last one we were just in. In Enumclaw? Uh, yeah, I think that'd be a really good location. It's uh, just about as pretty as... Uh, you know, in Darrington, um, mountains are a little further away, so they're not right there in your face as much, but still pretty. Um, I know Leo complained, but it, welcome to Patriot Front. We do a lot of driving sometimes. It sucked. But he didn't even go. I know. He, he was talking. He wants, he wants to come to the Christmas one, but then he started bitching when I told him the location. even though he has the option to carpool with someone else. I mean, he could pick the spot and set it up himself if he wants to do it. <clears throat> I'd travel if other people want to do it. I mean, it just it's a lot of money. That's why I took the, the lead on it. Yeah, Leo's just complaining because he doesn't want to drive an hour and a half or two hours. Even though all of us did for the last one. <laughs> okay, well, he can stay home. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what are we supposed to do? All, have all of us fucking drive down to Portland or something? 
Yeah, all right. Got a one guy drive up here. He wants it like really down south, like near Centralia. But I don't know. I kind of like. I can see him like in Tacoma or something. You want to have a get together into Compton? Well, I just mean the general area. I mean, I think the. I'm happy to travel. I think the idea of doing these get-togethers and Airbnb is to go someplace nice. And if they want to arrange one down south, I'll travel wherever. Um, if they will set it all up, you know, I, I don't care. Yeah, that's the real kicker. Are these guys going to, you know, do they got a wife or girlfriend that's going to cook and do all that shit, too? Yeah, I mean, we planned the menu, bought all the groceries, I found the place, paid for it. You know, I knew it was going to cost money, and I'm just, I don't care. I just wanted a good place for everyone to be able to hang out and for us to have fun. But, uh, you know, if he's willing to do that, I'm all for it. <laughs> The problem with places like EM Claw and whatnot is they are more expensive. Um, like the, what I'm seeing now is for a similar size what we got up in Arlington. That one was only 550 bucks. Whereas if we go to the EM Claw or something, it's like 400 a night. Damn. Yeah, you get into the cities, man. It's just more expensive, which is why I try to pick more rural places. You get a lot for way less. I thought it ended up being a little similar. No. Oh, well. I mean, there's, okay, so here's a place with the Mount Rainier view. It says four bedrooms, seven bath, or four bedrooms, seven beds, but it's, you know, 350, five a night, and that doesn't include cleaning and everything like that. There's always that fee on top, so it ends up being like, you know, if we were to get it for two nights or something, probably like over a thousand bucks. Fuck oh, that. That's just the way it goes when you you pick the more urban areas, dude. Well, okay, I guess we might have to pick somewhere down in like Lewis County then, like in Centralia. Oh, no, it depends, though. Uh, well, the Idaho guys all want to come. Uh, there's, I mean, we could go over uh, near Cleelum. Yeah, I was just thinking that maybe maybe we could go over the pass and uh, have a spot somewhere a little. And then, and then do some, we could probably hit up a banner or two near David's area. That'll make him happy. We really need to get out there and do more stuff in his general area, but it's, uh, uh, we need to do activism everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it'll be easier if we get more people. Uh, um, anyhow, uh, either Ethan or Vincent, if one of y'all want to meet up tomorrow, I got the bundle of posters. Um, and you know, we can get the, the glue and shit and the shaker and the brushes. Uh, uh, it's, it knows how to do all that. So does Tyler. And um, pretty fun. I don't know. We could, you know, put the interviewee. Tomorrow, he said he's available anytime between 1 and 11 p.m. But I also kind of want Clark to get some experience with interviewing. But he's also interviewing the Portland guy, too, so... 
Yeah, it's not like I've ever done it. Right. You haven't either. <clears throat> well, yeah, if we're going to do an interview, we should have someone there that's done an interview before. Yeah. That's why I sent Jack to go do it with Clark, because Jack is, I think he interviewed all three of Vincent, Ethan, and Clark. But I've always taken Jack to interviews with me. That's good. I don't know, I am itching to just drive out there. I mean, I, I gotta like pack for hunting and shit, but I suppose I can get up early, do all my responsibilities, go vet, interview the guy, and then uh, go home, and then I can leave Thursday morning with my dad. Yeah, I drive all the way to OMAC. It's a bit of a drive. Or immediately after the interview, I can just drive over there. That way on Thanksgiving morning, I'll be, uh, I'll go out and get the early morning Thanksgiving hunt in, which would be cool. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, for, uh, it's... Go, go, go on. Yeah. sooner we get guys on the server, the better, you know, I mean, the longer they're sitting around waiting, you know, and it looks good. Get them so, yeah, I think, yeah, I think just you and me, Ethan, will go uh, interview the guy tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll message him on the betting server, and I'll message Jack and tell him I'm a uh, Taking over the interview. I'd say, what time would you want? Like Silverdale at 2 p.m.? Sorry, bro. I was doping myself. Um, I don't know. Let me think for a second. That's the place to think you're going That's the place. more like three o'clock or something. I don't know. I gotta I gotta hop out and see about drive times and all that shit. <laughs> Time to sit in traffic. That's why I don't do stick runs after work, because the longer it takes me to get to this exit, the longer I'm sitting at this king exit. 
the Highway 18 on I-90. It's the worst exit ever. looking at Airbnbs. Okay. Thank you for doing that. Send, when you find a good one, send me the link. I'll purchase it. Well, I'll send you this one. Dude. I mean, this one is still going to be like 900 bucks for two nights. You wanted two nights, right? Friday and Saturday? Or do you yeah, just want to do that Saturday? Is, that is so fucking expensive. I would, I, would rather, I would rather tell the Portland guys to figure something else out for themselves while uh, I mean, we bro, go back at the Drinking. If you want, if you want to do bedrooms for everyone to stay in and stuff, that's just the way it is, man. Uh, this one is in Cleelum. How many people even stayed last time? Though? I mean, people didn't end up staying, but they told me they were, so I, I planned around that. What was it? Just Walter and his wife and then and David Clark. and Clark and Jack stayed Friday. David and John stayed Saturday. Okay. But I mean, Frederick was going to stay both nights. Uh, Johnny was going to stay. Leo was going to stay, but there was just cancellations at the last minute. It's because both Leo and Frederick had car problems. And yeah. I asked Leo if he's coming for the weekend, and he goes, whoa, what are you talking about? I was like, what? really? Like, he forgot? He's like, oh, I'm sorry about that. I scheduled a, uh, a, an appointment for my, my truck in, in the shop. Mike, please. There really isn't a shovel emoji? What the fuck? Oh well, pickaxe will work. So what's your plan for the weekend, Vincent, regarding posters? <coughs> well, I sent you some of the details over, um, over off the chat, uh, but there are a, um, a few utility boxes that I've seen in West Seattle uh, that have I'm pretty sure of George Floyd. I, I, I've seen one with uh, Brown Taylor. Uh, I think there's one with uh, like a, a Salvage Record or something like that. Uh, but there's uh, a few of those utility boxes around West Seattle, so I'm going to scout those out. Um, and maybe some measurements to see what those are. Um, so if you have measurements of what the clusters are, and see, see what fits what. Um, but I think West Seattle would probably be a good place to hit. And there's some, uh, there's some regular utility boxes, and there are some oppositional utility boxes as well. We have a variety of sizes to work with, from small to big, big. Yeah, it's always between as well. Um, I think we just measure them out just so I know before I get there uh, which ones we need on hand. Uh, otherwise, there's also uh, some graffiti, the jersey barriers, and I think we'd be fun to cover up if we if we bring samples. Okay, what's jersey barriers? I think that's what they call them. They're the, uh, uh, they're the, like, they're, they're like cements, uh, like college blocks. Um, they're the, uh, the, the shorter cement blocks you see outside the hallway. Okay. There's some interesting some boxes in, like, Burien or something, or SeaTac. Somewhere other than Seattle, I, I, I thought, I remember hearing you saying that we have a uh, electric box with, with LM stuff. Uh, maybe you're thinking White Tower, but that's still, that's still basically Seattle, I think. Yeah. Yeah, White, yep, White Center. Yeah, it's basically right next to White Seattle or even part of White Seattle. Oh, boy. 
trust your uh, your judgment? Um, I don't know if you really need to post her that late into the night. Um, I've done postering just right when it gets dark. It, it depends on the area. Um, I did a bunch of posters near Sammamish, Redmond, uh, that general area, um, Duval, Fall City, um, at night, no problem. You know, you just walk up, slap it up. Even when cars drive by, they just never ever do it in front of a cop. And, uh, most likely someone in a car that sees you do it isn't gonna do anything if there's multiple of you, you know? Um, it's like never let someone get your license plate when you go out. But you guys all know that. Um, but generally, rule of thumb, whenever I do an action, I like to do it when there's, like, no eyes on me at all, you know. Like, you just walk down the street kind of slowly, wait until there's no traffic on both ends, and slap the poster up real quick. Yeah, did the drive-by again, because I think uh, one of the boxes that I did is pretty close to where the bars are. So it's going to be, be one indicator if it's... Uh, if it's doable uh, during the day or not, or maybe we just get that one after it's some other ones. Yeah, if uh, if that's too late and doesn't work for guys, uh, definitely just find regular electrical boxes and places we haven't really done the activism in yet. You know, like uh, um, uh. I'm trying to think. Where do we need a guy at? Where do we need a guy? I would love to have another guy in the Kent, Federal Way, Auburn, Gallup area. South King County would be would be cool. Um, yeah, more just central of the network area, guys. Yeah. It's great wherever they are, but preferably around us. It's like we're a big circle around, like, Federal Way. Kind of funny. I want to make a book of, like, locations for posters and for banner drops and, like, just make a PDF of, like, all of Western Washington and have it so it's like, oh, where do we want to do a banner drop? All right, flip the banner drop page. Boom. Here's, like, eight different locations in this one town, you know? If and when I have time to sit on a computer and make a PDF, I'm definitely going to do that. That'd be so cool. I'll title it Activism 101 by John Washington. <laughs> well, you've been keeping track of everywhere we've dropped, haven't you? Yeah, but, like, you know, what if I die in traffic today and, like, all those good spots are lost for the end of time, you know? Yeah, I think putting up a spreadsheet or something and then logging the dates that we dropped it would be good. Yeah, I mean, in my notes on my phone, I have, like, all those little action plans I make. I have all of those saved. And I, I even have ones from, you know, over a year ago saved on there. And, um, like, the the first time we did seven banner drops in a row, I have all those spots, and it's all outlined with the parking addresses and pictures, photos, details, all that right there. Um the Oregon trip when we went and we tried to sticker 70 towns while going down the highway 101 and then, and then interviewing a couple guys in Oregon. Um, I have that still saved with parking for each town. Like one afternoon I really sat down and planned out parking for like 69 spots that <laughs> would be, would be safe for uh, you know, parking 
and then walking out a few minutes away and then stick your hand. Ugh. I kind of missed that, honestly. That was, like, my funnest form of activism was just having six boots on the ground and then, like, throwing up flyers and stickers everywhere, and then you drive out of the town and you see our our propaganda literally everywhere all over the town. But the the big action main page stuff has been working. Um, uh, the Portland guy said he saw the banner drops we did in Portland, and he's been thinking about it, made him apply. Uh, this other guy, he saw our banner drops we did in, in uh, Silverdale and Bremerton, and it made him apply. So uh, it worked. My, uh, my hypothesis is, has been, so far, it's become true. Um, another place we could also get some, need some posters and uh, banner drops in is probably like Issaquah, Renton area. We haven't really done a whole lot in Issaquah in a while. Um, it is a bit of a smaller town, and the cops are kind of gay. So, you know, don't do anything in front of a cop. But, you know, that's a given. What do you know about this, uh... Guy on the peninsula. Uh, I have his notes. Yeah, because you're, you're reading all that stuff about the Portland guy, but I don't remember hearing anything about the other guy. <laughs> hey, he's 22. Uh, that's all I remember. So, I changed my oil in my truck at 11 o'clock last night. Uh, I got like five hours of sleep. I'm fucking beat. But somehow I managed to strip the bolt on my drain plug. I have never stripped anything before ever other than a girl and myself. <laughs> but, god damn it. And then my dad starts fucking yelling at me. But and then he stopped, and then he was like, you know what, I'm not going to be mad. I've done way stupider shit. <laughs> what would you do, you use an impact? No, I use a fucking regular wrench, dude. I'm just fucking Hulk Hogan, I guess. It slipped. I didn't have a good grip on it, and then I just shredded the shit out of it. Because it wasn't on there solid. And I was using a 12-point side. So. Truck sounds way better. 10,000 miles, no oil. Is bad. Anyhow, the guy's 22... Uh, from the peninsula, yeah, took him a week out. to get his interview. Oh, I heard that. Uh, uh, he's not really No. He says he's fairly fit. Oh, 
I got so far was 22 a week for an interview. Uh, fairly fit. Uh, I sent you a couple Airbnbs. I think the one in Clee Ellum is going to be the best. If you do decide to look around for yourself, just keep in mind that if you want my girlfriend to cook, you need to find a place with a full kitchen. Yeah. And what we're doing, Clay Elm, for the uh, Idaho dudes, shorter trip for them? Yeah, that'd be convenient. It's reasonably priced. This place can accommodate 11 guests. It has five bedrooms, seven beds, full kitchen. Uh, you know, the full check in the 17th, check out the 19th. It would be 944 bucks. I'd rather just have it in a park than do that. Well, what's your, I mean, what's the maximum you're willing to spend, dude? Uh, about the same as last time. Uh, well, they, that one was, that B&B alone was 550. Um, but if, if you really want that, then we, I don't know, we probably got to look other places. We could just do the same one. <laughs> um, the official hate Airbnb. I can look at some other ones in the area, uh, or around Granite Falls and whatnot. I just, yeah. Uh, or maybe I'll tell my dad to get out of the house for the weekend. I'll go to my house. That's a good idea. Except I don't know how I feel about friends coming over. He, I used to hang out with a bunch of drunks and idiots, so he's probably going to expect just like a fucking huge mess. But I could try to, I could ask, fuck it. I think I'll do a decent for everyone. I trust y'all. I think I'll do a good of the mountains would work too because my girlfriend would definitely be able to tend seeing as it would be close to her and uh, she would not have to worry about uh, slipping off the road again on the pass. <laughs> so like Leavenworth? Would be open to that. That'd be cool. Well, you're not going to find anything. You're not going to find anything cheap there. Oh uh, yeah, probably right. But so unless everybody's willing to kick in, it's for sure like 150 bucks. You know. So, uh, they released the actually to network directors to look over it to make sure that all the faces are blurred. And I haven't watched it yet. Sitched me and said, You're cutting out a bunch. I can barely understand you. 
It sounded like they released the action report to network directors to verify faces are covered. And Lauren said that it's pretty much the wash. <laughs> All I caught was something about Washington, Horn Sitters, or Action Report. Also, another idea for. What's up, South Boss? What's pop? Oh, just hanging out. Got the little boy with me, he's listening in on the call. <laughs> Say hey to the missus for me. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, hi, Tyler. <laughs> Hello. I hope you're going to make it to the uh, Christmas meetup. My uh, girlfriend would really like to hang out with you. Yeah, we've been chatting. Good. I'm glad to hear Fuck. that. I'll talk to her about food so she doesn't feel overwhelmed, like, you know, Thanksgiving. Yeah, I haven't even really mentioned any specifics to her yet, but, uh, yeah, you two Probably are a good thing team, though. to, like, ask you six million questions. Well, she will ask me six million questions as soon as we uh, figure out where we're going to go. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, maybe there will be questions, but six million? Are you guys chill with Italian food, or are you big on, like, meat, not, like, you know, food, like pasta? I love Italian food. We'll see you can make better chicken fettuccine than me. My, it's my favorite dish. I was going to do a red lasagna and then stuff shells with, like, a cream sauce. But then, like, make a lot of both. And, like, Caesar salad. And then homemade breadsticks. That sounds good. That sounds really good. That, that sounds, sounds really good. Cool, cool, cool. Sounds great. I think this is the first time we've ever had a female on Mumble before. <laughs> ooh, ooh, breaking the rules. Maybe. I don't know. I 
I sent you another Airbnb link, John. This one is up right by where we stayed before. Part of the problem is is also being able to book places right now. I mean, this is the holiday season, so they get snatched up pretty quick. But this one is bigger than when, when we stayed at, but it's like right by it. Okay. I will look when I get home. I'm still driving. All right. I'm so sick of driving. I'm so glad I have a five-day weekend. Oh, my God. Are you off tomorrow? Yeah, I, I told my boss I'm not working tomorrow. <laughs> I told him I'm going deer hunting. I want this. I want the day off. I got I got Thursday and Friday paid holiday. So lucky me. Hey, Parker, are you there? Let's take the five-day holiday there. You probably thought no one could hear me, but you're all there. All right, I'm back. Clark, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, me and Ethan were kind of thinking about interviewing that guy tomorrow afternoon, and then after the interview, I'll just drive straight to OMAC. Yeah, so, like, it's kind of a blessing and a curse. Uh, I was late one too many times to work, and they're like, yeah, we're going to suspend you for three days. So I'm not working today or tomorrow. So uh, I, I can <laughs> I'm kind of free all day tomorrow. Well, that's not true. Okay. I, have a, okay. I, have right. I have an interview at, right. I have an interview at 2 p.m., but after that, that'll probably last no more than an hour. Job interview? Job interview? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, after that, yeah, uh, probably around three or four uh, in Silverdale. I'll have to get a hold of Jack and the interviewee and uh, make sure that's cool with both of them. All right, that sounds great. I'd much rather do it tomorrow than Friday. We probably don't want to do it later with traffic. That's when traffic gets worst around the Tacoma 5 area. Maybe it was over uh, or Lincoln South. Unless you're taking the ferry. I tried calling Jack and his phone went straight to the voicemail. Yeah, he hasn't been replying to me on Telegram since like halfway through yesterday. I'm not sure what's up with him. Maybe him and Marcus got banned going out. Ugh. All right, I messaged the interviewee just waiting on a response from him. However, considering he was already scheduled to be interviewed on the weekend, he probably won't even bother opening up Rocket Chat until close to then, so... We'll see if he responds. This is why we're not being interviewed. I know I was opening that thing like every hour. I'm like, I cannot miss out on any information in case this changes. Yes. Uh, you see, this is why we call them Nicker viewees. I Go ahead. What, Ethan? Uh, I was just going to say, yeah, I was kind of checking it kind of often, too, because it's weird because, you know, you're on some uh, weird platform and you, like, don't really get notifications and stuff. And you're trying not to miss out. I remember Leo, uh, Leo's interview... He, like, ghosted us for, like, a while on the server and then finally replied and then, like, didn't say shit, like, the day of his interview. 
And then I was like, dude, this guy's going to suck so hard, like, if he passes his interview. And then right after he passes his interview, he just like, stupid crap, talk and stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> what did you say, Clark? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to insult Optimus Prime over here. Oh, my boy just hit himself in the head. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to do that, kid. Yeah, don't. That's that's not that's not the that's not the plan. That's not the game. takes off and then yeah I'll, I'll keep in touch with you.